Americans make delicious burgers? I hope so. And burger. Burger, burger, burger. My name is Annie and in my today's video I will talk about what Germans really think about Americans. And I guess there's no better way than asking a German. So that's why I will do an interview with my brother today who has never been to the US before but he will come to visit us in two days from now. So I will ask him a couple of questions and I will ask him the same questions again just one day before he will leave back to Germany to see if his thoughts might have changed. All right, so just a quick disclaimer before we get started. I will talk a lot about stereotypes today and I know not everyone is the same and there also exist stereotypes about Germans, French people, everyone. I just want to make sure that no one feels insulted and as you know, if you have watched some of my videos before, I really love the US, I love the people and I love being here. Okay, with that being said, let's get started. This is my brother Toby, the best brother in the world and we are already excited that you will come to visit. And Toby, I will now ask you a few questions. Um, I will ask them in English, but whenever you feel more comfortable in answering in German, that's fine too, because I can always add subtitles. Okay, let's go. First question is five things that come to your mind when you think about the US. Mmh, Burgers, ähm, Land der unbegrenzten Möglichkeiten, ähm, Guns, ähm, Nesca, äh, vor, hm? and New York, ähm, Burger, and Sirens of uh, ambulance and fire trucks. Yeah, yeah. Um, Starbucks, uh, New York, and burger, <laughs> burger, 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 and Starbucks is everywhere. Okay, now I will read out statements to you, and I want you to answer very fast, very spontaneously. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Most Americans drive SUVs, pickup trucks or other big cars. Yes. Yes, I can confirm that because um, I drove by myself on the freeway and I didn't see smaller cars like uh, a VW Lupo or something like that. <laughs> um, they all drive pickups or SUVs or big cars, yeah. He is indeed right. Just for fun, I checked which cars have been sold the most in 2020 in the US. Let's have a look. In comparison to that, in Germany, the number one car was a VW Golf, followed by, by a VW Passat. And I know that all the Americans make fun of station wagons, but we as Germans, we just love them. And number three was a VW Tiguan, which looks a little bit more like an average American car, I would say. Really quick guys, I promise, if you're still watching, it might be that you actually enjoy what you're seeing and if you do, maybe you would like to think about subscribing to my channel, that would be awesome because of course that way I can grow my channel and I can keep on doing what I love to do. If subscribing is not your thing, maybe you would like to leave a thumbs up or a comment, that would also help. Okay, but with that being said, let's go back to the video. Americans make delicious burgers? I hope so. Yes, the burgers uh, taste very good here, yeah. I tried that, yeah. Americans are fat. Not all. Um, yes, some of the Americans are a little uh, bigger sized, <laughs> but uh, I don't think it's in... Uh, it's more than in Germany. I, I, it's, it's a normal amount of... Uh, Different sizes. Based on the center of disease 
control and prevention, more than 40% of Americans are considered obese. Now, there are other websites sites which state a slightly different number but overall the message is the same that obesity is a major health issue in the US. Now you would think that I would walk outside and I would walk into a bigger size person as my brother calls them immediately or a lot but I have to say that it's actually the opposite. Here there are a lot of very sporty people, a lot of runners um, and I don't see a lot of bigger sized people around and I had the same experience in Seattle and Portland, Oregon and I remember the first time I came to the US I was, and I apologize in advance, but I thought Americans are not as big as I thought they would be because this is actually a typical stereotype um, that a lot of Germans think is true. Now one reason why I don't bump into bigger size people every day is that it varies across the country so the Midwest and the South they just have more bigger sized people than in other parts of the United States um, and two and this was even more almost shocking for me is that I looked up how many people in Germany are overweight and I found out um, based on the Robert Koch Institute that in Germany 61% of men and 47% of women are also overweight which is even a higher number. Now I know when you look at different sources they use different scales um, but still the message is my German friends out there maybe we should uns mal an die eigene Nase packen or in this case an unseren eigenen Speck which means we should take a good look at ourselves first or our belly fat first before we judge others. Just saying. Food portions in a restaurant are much bigger than in Germany. Um, yes, I think. Could be. Uh, no, I don't think it will be. It's quite, it's quite the same, yeah. You will gain weight during your stay. Yes. It needs to be confirmed at home, but I think a little bit could be gained, yeah. <laughs> American beer is disgusting. Hopefully, hopefully not, and I, I think not. No, I don't think so. Um, especially the IPAs are very tasty. And, uh, and I taste uh, also other beers and uh, they are all fine, yeah. Not all, but many of these, yeah. <laughs> Americans never walk, they drive everywhere. Mm, yes. Yes, also this can be confirmed because um, I did a lot of walks around the block and I didn't see people anywhere. It's, it's complete like a, like a ghost city with, with cars only. <laughs> Almost every American has a gun. Not every American, but many. I didn't see any uh, guns, so I cannot confirm. Americans are very patriotic. For sure, yeah. <laughs> yes, for sure, because I saw a lot of um, flags on the houses and they are, we went to uh, the baseball and the ice hockey game and uh, before they played the anthem and uh, so yeah, I think can be confirmed. I just would like to comment on why Germans don't have that kind of national pride. So you will actually not find a lot of flags in Germany and if you do it's mostly linked to sports um, and when I say sports I mean soccer. But of course everyone is aware of our dark history um, and basically even though we are proud of our country it just doesn't feel right to brag about it if that makes sense. Um, but I actually think that most Germans are 
proud to be German or at least are very happy to have a German passport and I'm also very glad that whenever I travel outside of Germany and I meet people they have positive thoughts when they think about Germany so they think about I don't know great cars um, great health insurance Oktoberfest you name it so I hope that also um, we as Germans at one point can show more openly that we are very proud of our country because we can we have a great country and Americans are materialistic um, not all but maybe many yeah could be yeah. for this part of USA I can confirm because there are many big houses with a um, big garden in front of it and uh, big cars and uh, so yeah I, I think it can be confirmed. <laughs> Before you guys out there can enjoy the outtakes of today's video, I just wanted to thank my brother for supporting me not only by doing this fun video, but just always. You are truly the best. Guys, did I mention that he's single? I think I did. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and auf Wiedersehen. Outtakes part one. Du willst aber dann zusammenschneiden, das erste, den ersten Teil, dann sage ich jetzt nicht nochmal, das war nämlich ziemlich gut. Also ich so von Menschen auf. Ich das jetzt auch mit rein. Die smaller cars like a VW Lutor oder sonst was.